Messed up scenario time. Your parents are really, really mean to you. So you run away from home. You end up living with a really rich girl whose brother is super, super hot. We went to Vegas for a socialite party and end up telling each other that you actually have feelings for each other. But his ex shows up and she's trying to ruin everything. We gotta see what happens. Wow, I'd be looking cute these days. How could he do this? I just tried to go to Bentley's room to check on him because he had a meltdown yesterday and his ex was there in a towel and was like, yeah, I stayed the night after you left he called me. He was really not in his right mind, so I kind of feel like I believe it. He was so upset after seeing Chanel, though. It didn't seem like he wanted anything to do with her. But the second I leave, he calls her? I don't know if I want to scream or cry. I know I have no right to be upset. It's not like we're together, but I feel played with. I feel toyed with. Played like a fiddle. He seemed so into me. And everything he said in the bathroom last night at the party, was it all a lie? Did he purposely lead me on? Has he just seen me as a little naive girl he could toy with the whole time? I'm so hurt by this. Why would he do this? Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Who dis? Three new messages from Bentley. I'm so sorry for last night. I hope you can forgive me. What's your room number? I need to talk to you. Please. I messed up. I'm sorry. Ew. Why is he saying he messed up? Oh, he must be saying he messed up because, you know, he was a mess last night. He saw his ex and he spiraled out of control. I can either be passive aggressive, upset, or leave him on red. Oh, leave him on red. That's so nasty. I'm gonna be upset. Okay, so I was super, super vulnerable. And where did that get us? Should I still be a vulnerable around him? Do I even trust him? I think I have to. I'm gonna be upset. Leave me alone. I have nothing to say to you. Goodbye! Glam, can we talk? What do you want? I'm sorry for what I said last night. Remember when you wouldn't do a dare and then I told you that you were gonna end up just like your parents? Even though it's the truth, I shouldn't have said those things in front of everybody. Real nice apology. Like, why do you have to say even though it's the truth? I almost completely forgot about what Poppy did to me last night. It didn't even matter anymore. I was so consumed with Bentley and Chanel. I didn't care about anything else. Well, Poppy, you know what? You're not the brightest bulb I've ever seen and it's fine, I guess. Great, let's go eat. I think I'm gonna skip brunch. You can't! Marissa will have a total freak out. You can't, nuh -uh. Chanel left, Preston, Victoria, and Chad are so sick they can't even get out of bed. She's so mad that everybody keeps bailing, so you have to go. Chanel left? Yeah, she had to head back to LA early. She's going back to LA? I thought she lived in New York. She does, but she got offered a big job, so she'll be in LA for a while, which is great. Now I'm gonna have to see her all the time because all these rich people hang out in the same places. Why does it matter? Oh, I was just wondering. I don't know if I trust you anymore, Poppy. Well, whatever. Come on. Fine. Get it together, Harvey. This is my birthday brunch. Can you stop yelling, please? I feel like crap. We've been celebrating your birthday for the past three days. It's just a birthday. Having one doesn't make you special, girl. Everybody has them. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Marissa, wait. What do I do? I thought this was a brunch. Where's all the food? I'm starving. I'm still so upset. I shouldn't care, but where is Bentley? Bentley? Just as the thought enters my mind, the scent of his strong cologne. <laughs> flows through my nostrils. I sense this powerful presence looming over me. It makes me feel weak in the knees, but I need to keep it together, repress it, push it down, push it down. We need to talk, Gloom. Nah. Nah. There's nothing to talk about, Bentley. See you later. Oh, jeez. Trying my best not to look in his direction, but it's so hard. Why does he look so dang good in those sunglasses? Darn dang it. I can tell why she's trying to avoid contact with me. I never wanted to just be another in a long line of people who've hurt her. I miss her smile already. This is destroying me. Dang, I've never seen a pair of sunglasses look so good. Hey, girl. Gloom, you can't avoid me any longer. You're stuck in this car with me for three more hours. I'm not avoiding you. We just have nothing left to talk about. That's all. You can do whatever you want with whoever you want. What? Boy, you know what I mean. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me, Bentley Banks. I'm not some toy you can play with whenever you're bored. What the heck is she talking about? She thinks I'm playing her because I got rickety wrecked last night? I'm not playing you. What I did was insensitive and responsible, yeah. I'm more sorry than you'll ever know. Whatever. Do what you want. Do what I want? What is that supposed to mean? I'll give you your space for now, but this conversation is far from over. We'll see about that. I'm gonna ghost him for the rest of my life. Monday. Ring, ring. What? One new message from Margot. Hey girl, sorry I left early yesterday. Marissa said I could leave after I did her makeup, so I took that chance and girl, I ran. No worries, I would have done the same. So, did you end up finding Bentley Saturday night? Hmm? Yep. Why the face? I need the details. Are you free today? Let's meet for lunch. I'm actually grabbing coffee with a friend after class. You should meet us. Most definitely see you then. Oh, it's Layla, my fine freckled friend who I love very much. Okay, this is like the dream girls right now. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hey Margot, this is my friend Layla. Hi, how's it going? Haha. <laughs> Cute. So Gloom told me you're a makeup artist. 
wedding ring? What? Bentley, where are you? I'm supposed to make sure you and Poppy come home from class. Are you okay? At least let me know you're safe. I'm safe, you don't have to worry about me. I wish I could. Oh, Bentley, <laughs> you're killing me, boy. You're killing me. But still, the audacity. Who does he think he is? He goes and sleeps with someone else and expects me to answer to him? Uh-uh, he sure as heck wasn't worrying about me when he called Chanel. Ooh, who's texting you so much? Bentley, he's freaking out because I didn't tell him I was going somewhere. Why does he care so much? Is he into you? Layla, you know he's into me. So, does that mean Saturday night went well? Did you guys finally get down to business? You know what I'm saying? Walk a walk a wow. Walk a walk a wow. Huh? Oh, still. I need to know everything. I went looking for him and found him belligerently wasted at the bar. I helped him up to his room and he asked me to stay with him. Yes, girl. How was it? Did he rock your world? I've heard he's a rock star in the bedroom. Is it true? Oh my god, stop. We didn't do it. Boo hoo 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 hoo. Boo! Why not? I fell asleep for a few hours and then went back to my room. I went to check on him the next morning and Chanel was there in her towel, telling me they had a rough night. <gasps> ah, his supermodel ex? Oh, I knew that girl was up to no good. I thought she demolished his heart last time. What's he doing crawling back to her? I don't even have a right to be upset. I just thought he was different. What do you mean you don't have a right to be upset? Well, we're just friends. He has the right to do what he wants. Ugh. Do you want to tell her or should I? Boom, you have every right to be upset. Yeah, they're lucky it wasn't me. There's no survivors when I'm in a rage. You've been telling me for weeks how much he's been flirting with you. He even made a plan to pretend date you. Come on, he was totally playing you. It was probably his plan all along. I say forget him and find someone new. And in case nobody's told you, that entire friend group is absolutely toxic. If only it were that easy. I felt things for Bentley I never felt with anyone before. I get butterflies every time he enters the room. The twinkle in his eyes makes my heart skip a beat. I was falling for him. Oh, am I kidding? I've already fallen. He just wasn't there to catch me. <laughs> Unlucky. I agree. Every time we talk, it's always some drama you don't deserve. Come hang with us instead. I'd love to, Layla, but I'm afraid of what Poppy might say. Girl, you know what you have to do. It's just, I owe her so much of my life now that I feel indebted to her. I have to make her happy, I guess. That's not how being nice works, sweetie. You don't do nice things so people can be indebted to you forever. You're done. We're moving you out of that toxic place this weekend. Poppy can take it up with me if she has a problem. Margo, you're a genius. Anything you two need to make this happen, I would love to help. Oh, thank you. All right, you two are right. I need to stand up for myself and that means moving out of there. Oh, no more rich people drama? Are you kidding me? It was nice meeting you, Layla. You seem like a really cool person. You too, Margo. I'm really glad you're not like Poppy's friends. At least we're adorable. I've never seen Layla or Margo so nervously happy before. You know what? I bet just a small nudge would turn these two strangers into more than friends, if you know what I mean. I'm making a connection. You two should exchange numbers. I mean, I'd love to. I don't want the only time I see Margo to be whenever you're in a crisis. <laughs> Shut up. That's rude. But I ship you two so hard. I don't want to be a third wheel here. Babe, you're never unwelcome. We love you, darling. Thank you for introducing us. Glue, do you want me to drop you off at Poppy's on my way home? No, thanks. I think I'm going to walk. It's such a beautiful day and I want to clear my head. Oh, I looked up your resident coordinator for school. She'll help you find the right place. Margo, you're the best. Catch you two later. See you tomorrow in class. Bye, Layla. I hope they date. They're really cute. Hi, is this residential services? I'm looking for on-campus housing. Of course. What's your name and year? It's Gloom and I'm a sophomore. Great. Come to our office anytime today and we can get you arranged ASAP. Looking forward to it. This is what I have to do. After calling this house a home for months, I knew I could no longer live under this roof. Poppy's been such a handful. I can't stick around without feeling terrible for myself. It's time I made a decision for myself. Poppy. Hey girl, can you grab me some water? I'm thirsty. I'm like absolutely thirsty, if you know what I mean. Speaking of which, Chad's coming over later. Do you mind leaving? Actually, Poppy, I wanted to talk to you about something. Can it wait until after getting the water or what? Not really. I just started researching other uh, living places on campus, actually. It has a ton of amenities. And if you ever want to visit, you're more than welcome to. So you're leaving me. Is that what you're saying? Well, after everything I've done for you, you're just going to up and leave without saying thank you? That's why I'm here. I want to say thank you. You helped me get off the street. I give you a new life and you can't even do so much as buy me a fruit basket and a champagne bottle to say thank you. <laughs> Girl, bye! Please, Poppy, I really just want to say thank you for changing my life. It's really meant everything to me. Please don't be mad at me. I said, girl, bye. Don't walk into my life again unless you're on my level. Girl, Poppy, I thought you were a good friend. What is going on here? I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Okay, that's enough. Ever since you took me and you've treated me like a stray you found on the side of the road. Do you know what it feels like to be a pet project to somebody else? I'm so thankful you got me out of that situation, but that doesn't mean you can use me as a servant. I don't treat you like a servant. You just asked me to fetch you water. If anything, you use me like an accessory. One that people will say good for her. She's not all bad. You're only nice to me to make yourself look good. Sounds like a win-win situation to me, to be honest. Friendship isn't about winning or losing, Poppy. I hope one day, Poppy, you learn that. I don't wish you any harm. I just wish that you learn to be a better person. That's all. Goodbye, Poppy. See ya.
Huh. The audacity, the nerve, and talent on that. I really can't believe she'd say those things to me. I thought she was someone I could trust, or repeatedly she hurts my feelings. There's no way I can stay in this house with her in it. I've gotta tell her how she made me feel. And hopefully she learns a lesson about how to treat people. Gloom. I'm packing, you won't have to see me again. Can I come in? Okay, what do you want now? Hey, um, well, okay, so I'm not good at this sort of stuff, but I don't want you to leave angry. I have a spare designer bag you can pack your stuff into. I'm fine, Poppy, I don't want a designer bag. Oh my goodness, okay, so it feels like Poppy actually cares about me, but she's just not very bright. And she's trying to say like, hey, I appreciate you, but she doesn't know how. Hey, Gloom. Yes, I'm pretty busy here, Poppy. Uh Thank you for being a good friend even when I wasn't. Whoa, did she just actually genuinely thank me? It's never happened before. I know what you're thinking, and I mean it. Can we like, maybe hug? Like, you know, bring it in for a sec? That's all I ever wanted, Poppy. Okay, just like a little perfume before, okay? You kind of stink, but I still love ya. Fine, bring it in. I don't want to chip a nail or I'd help you move. Proud of you for making your own decision. Thank you, Poppy. Okay, well, toodles. Layla was kind enough to help me move the driving van over. I'm glad I could help you move. This is the easiest job ever. Why is that? There's really not many boxes. Girl, you don't own anything. Well, thanks for the reminder. Well, that's a minimalist lifestyle and I applaud it. Minimalist is one way of putting it, but thanks. Or maybe another. This is actually an amazing spot. Oh, look at all that greenery. Such good energy. Yeah, the view's pretty decent too. Let's be your roommate. Think about it. We could do yoga together every morning, buy a few plants, maybe cook meals together. It would be so much fun. And the best part is we can just hang out whenever. Well, that sounds amazing. Okay, you know what? Get in. Let's do it. Oh my god, yay. I'll grab the leaf. I'm taking control of my own future. I felt control I've never had before. I was living with someone by my choice and I couldn't have asked for someone better. Thanks for everything, Layla. Three unread texts from Bentley. What is it now? Is that Bentley? Yeah, he really hasn't given up since Vegas. What's he saying? He's been asking me to meet up. Does he seem honest? He has been with me. I say meet up with him. Hear him out. That'll give me time to start moving my stuff in, you know? All right, I'll see you later then. Good luck, girl. Okay, time to meet that Bentley boy. Oh, he told me to meet him at the beach, my favorite spot. The same place as the party weeks ago. He showed up a little early. It was freezing. I was shaking. Then I saw him hurriedly walking over. And suddenly things felt a little warmer. Although it could just be the LA weather, who knows? Oh, he's still cute even when he's flustered. Sorry to make you wait. I got here a bit early. Well. There's a lot I wanted to say, all right? I'm here, so what do you have to say? All right, I'm glad we came to this beach because it's the first place I really understood who we were, what our relationship truly was after the whole Preston thing. Let's get to hooking up with your ex part, please. That's not true. I didn't. Okay, Bentley, this has been nice, but I should go. I shouldn't even care. We're not together. Wait, Gloom, please, I promise, just shut up and let me talk. I didn't even know she was in my room. I was taking a shower and she must have come in. That seems so far-fetched that it's true, I guess. I'm gonna grill him just in case, because he was out of his mind. Do you still have feelings for her? Uh, well, I- It's not that complicated, Bentley. Do you still love her? Or are you still hung up on her? No, I love someone else. Well, fine, I believe you. <laughs> Anything else we should talk about? <laughs> Can we talk about us? Since you're no longer living in Poppy's house, I'm no longer required to watch out for you, but I still want to be a part of your life. You're not like anyone I've ever met before, and I'm tired of playing these games with each other. What are you trying to say, Bentley Banks? Just lay it on me. Gloom, I love you. Oh! Okay, I love him too. No, I mean, yeah, let's go. Being on my own though, that's kind of interesting, but I love him, I have to. Bentley, the time we've spent together, I can't help myself when I'm around you. I can't just be friends. I love you, Bentley. You've no idea how long I've wanted to hear that from you. I'm glad you heard me out, Gloom. I'm ready for us to start our future together. You've always been someone I can trust. Can I ask you a question? Sure. I'll always help you no matter what. I've been thinking about leaving my dad's business and pursuing my own passions. I don't want to do my father's real estate. I want to start my own company and help people find affordable housing. Oh, well, he does love charity, for sure. They need someone to fight for them, so no one ever ends up on the streets like you did. People shouldn't have to wait for a stranger to save them. I know that sounds risky and maybe crazy too, but that's what I love. And now that we're together, I'm ready for anything. What do you think? I mean, can't you just keep doing more charity? Like, can't you start like a charitable organization? Because this is kind of a risk, but hey, he's got all the connections, so go. Do it. Bentley, you're a good person. Too good to be working at your dad's company. I think you should absolutely follow your own dreams, and it's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you, Gloom. I knew I should ask you. Well, glad I could help. I gotta run, but thank you for being honest with me. Come by my apartment sometime, would you? Bye. After a few months, things finally started settling down. Oh girl, we made this place gorgeous! I'm so happy we moved in together. This looks amazing. It really came together. Thank you. You saved me, girl. You really did. No, girl, you saved yourself in that lifestyle. Look at you now. I'm so proud. You're making decisions for yourself and not anyone else. Not Bentley, not Poppy, you are doing you, girl. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Layla. It means a lot coming from you. You've been a constant support throughout the whole ordeal. Of course. Now, speaking of which, wanna do some yoga? Let's do it. Ever since moving with Layla, life has been a lot of fun. We're constantly constantly joking, we're doing this weird thing that we do, teaching each other new things and having a ton of fun. It's completely different than living with Poppy. I know I have someone for me, just like she is for me. All right, ready? Bentley, why do you all text me all the time? Reach for your toe. Hold on, I got a text, shut up. 
for a sec. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're supposed to go to the farmer's market together. I'll pick you up some avocados, all right? You're a millennial, right? You like that stuff? Later, girl. See ya. Well, might as well do yoga on the nude. Okay, <laughs> Layla. We went to the farmer's market together. Since it was equally between his work and my dorm, it worked perfectly. Every Sunday we'd get coffee before and just walk past different booths. And we'd talk and laugh for hours. Or pretend we're anonymous in a crowd of people. I love Bentley. His whirlwind appearance in my life has made it that much better. Every time I look at him, I almost have to pinch myself. The light of his love shined on me so bright! I couldn't believe it sometimes. Things were going to work out okay. Why is there a shot of my window? Hello? <gasps> oh, it's the end! That's the end of crossing the line, girl! Would you like a glimpse into the future? Yeah, girl. The girl we met in the beginning was hurt and looking for a friend. In the end, she found so much more. Bloom and Layla spent the rest of college in their dorms together. Margo and Layla began dating. I'm free of toxic circles and start to appreciate my friends. And with Bentley, we date for years. He proposes on the beach! With time, their love grows. Even Poppy begins to settle down. All is well in the world. Thank you for playing. I was going to go back and replay episode 7 and see what would have happened if I stayed in Bentley's room that night, but it looks like either way, if I didn't leave early, what would have happened is I would have fallen asleep for a few hours and then left early and then found Chanel the next day, so I don't think that it was very consequential. That being said, I really, really enjoyed this story. It was so much fun to play. Thank you guys so much for your enthusiasm, for loving this series so much and enjoying my cringy little read-throughs. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!